Hi everybody, it's Diana with StampingWithDi.com. Welcome to this week's Teach Me Tuesdays, episode 122. If you are new to my YouTube channel, please make sure you say hi. Um, follow along with us in the chat. That's where you I will watch live with you. So if you have any questions, I can answer you over there. If you don't see the live chat, um, then it's a replay. So then just make sure that you comment below and then YouTube will let me know that you have a question or you can always email me at stamp to die gibbs at stamping with die dot com and I, I can answer you then. So I love our little chit chats on this side. I have had some issues with um, my internet service during my live so I've been um, taping the last few and, and maybe um, I'll, I'll keep doing that let me know what you think it does make a much clearer video for sure so um, let's get started with today's card I am going to do um, a version of one that I did for our virtual spring social and I love this card uh, so um, let's get started I want to remind you about April's host code. So if you're placing an order, 150 before tax and shipping or less, this is a hostess code that you want to use unless you're in one of my virtual stamp clubs. And if you want your own code, so you can um, place several orders in a month, you can give the code out to your friends, and then all those orders get looped together. They ship to the each person's house, but the totals all accumulate and you can earn hostess benefits that way. So if you'd like your own code, it is good for 30 days. Let me know and I can give you your own code. And um, just keep in mind, you I have to make the code before the first order is placed. So um, make sure you reach out to me. It's always great to get free stuff. Oh my gosh. Especially now with the retired list out, um, people are shopping you know, more, right? Okay, so I'm going to use these two stamp sets. I'm actually gonna do a variation of a card that was one of the projects for the spring social. So we're gonna use Flowing Flowers, which is a beautiful set. You don't wanna miss that. And Honey Bee Home. These go so well together. So that's what I'm going to be using. All right. I'm also going to be using the scalloped contour die and the beautiful window pane check ribbon as well. All right, set that aside. So my card base is crumb cake. And then these are the pieces that will make the card up. So we've got an inside piece with some of that awesome heart and home DSP. I love this. It's like shiplap paper. And then this is going to go on the front and that's garden green as well. And we're going to use garden green ink as well as magenta madness. Now magenta madness is one of the retiring in colors. So you want to make sure you grab it if it's already gone because things run out every time you turn around you could use um, polished pink would look pretty um, actually any color flower because I'm only using the garden green um, ink to go with the cardstock here so if you want your flower to be a different color then that would be totally fine okay so let's get started all right, so we're going to put our little strip on the inside. You know me, I always like to put a little bit of something on the inside of the card. I mean, you're cutting that cardstock anyway, that DSP. You might as well put a little piece on the inside just to pretty it up. I've made myself a note. Look at this. Stop saying right. Oh my gosh. When I listen back to my videos, because I swear, I make boo-boos all the time. And I'm like, why did I say, like yesterday's video, I was saying, what was I saying? Memento instead of Misty Moonlight. I don't know how many times I said it. I'm like, what the heck? So, so yeah. So I notice that I say right a lot. And I need to stop saying that. 
So I've made myself a note, whether it will make me do that or not. I don't know. All right. So let me put the inside greeting and I'm going to use the garden green. I guess I just need to try to um, pay more attention or I don't know. I just get blabbing. Okay. So glad we're family. That's going to go on the inside. And I'm also going to put one of the little bees because the bees are so cute. So, so glad we're family on the inside. And again, I'm just using our old stamp -a jig So if you are a stamper for any length of time, you will have that in your stash, I am sure. So glad you're family, we're family. All right, let me get my B out. So I'm gonna use this little guy. There's like three different Bs in that stamp set. And they are going every which way. So I want this little guy to look like he's landing on the thing. So I'm gonna color him a little bit. So I'm gonna stamp him with the memento. I can just add some color, but I'm gonna set him aside so he can dry while we work on the rest of our card. All right, so I'm also gonna put the I like you on the front of the card. So it's important to put the greeting first because then you can adjust where you're putting your flower after. If I put my flower first and then I go to put my greeting, I might not have any space. So I'm gonna put my I like you first on this scallop right here. We're gonna put I like you right down there on the right hand side. Very good. Let me bring my grid sheet over. Right. So now the images that I'm going to use is I'm gonna use this beautiful flower. I love this so much. It is so nice, it's so detailed. But I'm also going to use this because this one doesn't have a leaf but this one does. So I'm gonna use this one as the leaf for the other one. So I'm simply going to stamp my, this one right here. Ink that up really good, right? So that's gonna go here. So that's just there. Now this looks beautiful as it is, right? But I, uh oh, oh, oh my gosh, I just said, right. I need to put like a rubber band on my wrist and snap it or something. Oh, okay, I need this. it's like, it's a habit. I and mean, I don't even realize that I'm saying it. I think I used to say um all the time and now I've changed um to. All right, so magenta madness for our beautiful flower, gorgeous. All right, so I don't need my ink pads anymore. So I'm gonna close them up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this flower out, but I wanna give just a tad second to dry. So while it's drying, let's bring this over and assemble that just because it's a little hot in Arizona right now. And I wanna give the ink a lot of time to dry because I'm gonna fussy cut it out. So that means I'm going to be getting my fingers all over it. And I don't want to smear it. Okay, that's there. So this can go on the card. So this just goes right directly to the card. I love these beautiful, simple cards. I don't know if I have made a card lately without some DSP on it. I don't know if I have or not. Okay, so let this dry some more while that's drying. Let's just color our B really quick. I'm gonna take my light balmy blue. And I'm going to scoot it down just a little bit. So 
make sure you can see. I'm going to take my balmy blue and I'm just going to really lightly draw on the outside of my B. I'm just barely touching because I want it to look like their sky. Now the light blues do not show very well on the camera. So you might not even see that. I'll lift it up when I get done. Now I'm taking my light pool party and I'm just barely coloring on the wings. Then I'm gonna take my light gray granite, it's a little bug, our light gray granite, and I'm going to color this furry part of the bee's body. So that was light gray granite and then dark gray granite. Just so that he's got a little bit of a dark part of, body, of his body. I don't know if that's right or not. Maybe it's yellow, but I just made it be gray. And then I'm gonna take my daffodil. So my dark daffodil and my light daffodil to do his butt area. And I'm leaving a little bit of a white line. So can you see that if I lift that up? So look how cute he is. So this might have supposed to be yellow, but I made it be gray. I also want to put a little wink of Stella on his wings just to make them glisten and it makes him look even more realistic. So let's see if you can see the wink of Stella. Uh, maybe not, but it's on there. All right, so that's gonna go on the inside of the card. Just a little bit of color. Make that inside really, really pretty. And like I said, these stamp sets go so well together. Okay, so while this is drying, should be dry. I'm gonna take a piece of this window pane ribbon and I wanna put it around here like that. So I'm going to cut this ribbon and I'm going to make like a, a fake bow, a cheater bow, whatever you wanna call it. It's like a fake, so it looks like it's wrapped around. So I just cut that in half. I'm going to take my glue dots. I'm going to put one on each side. I love doing this with the ribbon. It makes it look like you wrapped it around. Make sure I got all my glue dots on there. What's really cool is you can mix and match your ribbon as well, right? Oh, I said it again. So you can mix and match your ribbon. So I can put this around it, but you could tie a whole other color all together on the front. And it, it makes the, your eyes go, well, how the heck did they do that? All right, now I am gonna take a little bit of scotch tape. You know me, I like to put a little bit of scotch tape on the back. Nobody will know that it's there, but it's just going to reinforce that when I wrap that ribbon around, because I'll, you know, I'll tug on it just a tad. All right, so this is gonna go in here. I'm gonna put some dimensionals on there. Find my big dimensionals. So one, two, center, and there. So I'm just avoiding putting dimensionals on the ribbon. And that will be plenty to hold this up. I am going to offset it a little bit. Because we're going to cut this out. And I'm just fussy cutting it. There's no dye that goes with this. But this flower is so easy to cut out. I did a card the other day. And it's just easy, easy peasy. What you do is you move your cardstock, and I know I've talked about that before. You move your cardstock and just squeeze the scissors, and it's a lot easier cut out than doing this with your hand. So just squeeze and turn the cardstock with your other hand. Easy, easy. I like to fussy cat. So, and I don't necessarily think that this one 
is necessarily fussy cut because it's so quick. When I think fussy cut, I think in and out of all the little nooks and crannies. So this one isn't too bad. So what we're gonna do is this is going to get glued right over top of here. So what happens is we're using these leaves and this splattery from this stamp and we're putting it with this one. So now this one has another color with it. So let's put some dimensionals. Now I don't wanna put my dimensionals on here because I don't need them way out here. So I know that my flower is here. So I'm putting my dimensionals here. That way, there's not gonna be any dimensionals around the outside of the card. So that's gonna go in there. And then we're gonna take this extra piece of ribbon. We're just looping it underneath like that. And then I'm just going to tie it in a double, would you call it a double knot? Because I'm doing it twice. This ribbon ties so beautifully. And it's white and like a garden green. And you can color it too with your blends if you want to give it a different shade. Right, so there's your pretty, pretty card. Let's put a little bit of bling. So the bling that I'm going to put on it are the iridescent rhinestones. These are gorgeous. I love how they take the color, like depending on like what is around it or the angle that you're looking at it. It's, it's super cool. All right. So where is my pick tool? Here it is. All right. So we're just gonna stick a few of the smaller ones here and there around the card. One, two, and I'm gonna get a little bigger one, three. So just a few. So now the card's got that pretty little bit of a sparkle to it from the iridescent. So I don't know if the, the camera probably doesn't pick up how beautiful they are. So here's the card I was looking at. Very, very similar. Very similar. Except the inside, I didn't do the B. I can't even open it. And I think I think I might add the B to the other one because I just love the look of that. Because the bees are so beautiful on that set. So hopefully you like that one. Hopefully you'll get this set before the end of the mini catalog. So if you have any questions, make sure you holler. So did you like that? I hope so. But wouldn't this be so pretty using any color? If you want to use a different green, I would just switch out the cardstock color. So if you did Granny Apple and made it be very, very springy, put um, Granny Apple cardstock and then stamp with Granny Apple for the greeting. Maybe um, switch up your ribbon for something brighter and you can make your flower be any color you want. So it's a very, very versatile card. And who doesn't like shiplap? I do. All right, have a great day. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today. You always make me feel so good. And I will see you tomorrow for my Whatcha Making Wednesdays. And I can't wait to share with you what we're going to do then. So have a great night, everyone. And I will talk to you later. All right. Bye for now.